Congress Member of Parliament Rahul Gandhi filed his nomination papers from Vainad for the upcoming Lok Sabha elections. The Congress leader held a roadshow in the constituency that he won in 2019 as far as the Lok Sabha elections are concerned with a margin of over 4 lakh votes. Rahul Gandhi was accompanied by his sister Priyanka Gandhi Vadra and the All India Congress Committee General Secretaries KC Vinugopal and Deepa Das. Rahul Gandhi will submit his uh, has submitted his nomination papers. He uh, will be uh, up against uh, uh, BGP candidates that's uh, K. Sundaran and that's uh, uh, Kerala's uh, state president. Now, the, uh, against uh, Rahul Gandhi will also be the left democratic front uh, LDF uh, fielded uh, senior communist party of India leader. That would be Annie Raja who is also filing her nominations today. As I said, I said, I said, I said, I said all the people all of Wayanad, regardless, regardless, regardless of whether, 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 whether you are from the UDF, 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 UDF or from the LDF, 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 LDF I have a relationship with you. You're all my family members. We might disagree on our ideology, but we agree that we have a tremendous relationship with each other. I have received love and affection. I treat you and think of you the same way I think of my little sister Priyanka over here. That if we have a government in Delhi and when we get a government in Kerala, both of which we will do. We will resolve these issues for the people of Vaina. We have my colleague Pratibha joining us to get us more on this. Uh, Pratibha, you know, we just heard Rahul Gandhi talking about how uh, the issues in Vainad will get solved is what Rahul Gandhi has said. Very hopeful of, uh, you know, uh, given that in 2019 he won with a margin of 4 lakh votes and uh, staying with that is, uh, you know, Priyanka Gandhi Vadra there in support of her, her brother uh, in Vainad uh, and he just filed his nomination papers. We also know that Annie Raja will be uh, filing her papers as well. Well, right, as you rightly said, yes, 2019 was uh, pretty much of an easy cakewalk for uh, uh, Rahul Gandhi. But uh, this time around, he would be walking on a tight rope, mainly because we have two uh, strong contenders. One is uh, BJP's uh, K. Surendra, who is the state president of uh, the party as well in uh, Kerala. And uh, we, on the other hand, like you said, yes, Ani Raja, who is also a senior leader, uh, who has been fielded by the LDF there at uh, YNR. So, Considering that, it is definitely not going to be easy. Also, remember, in 2019, uh, most of them did see Rahul Gandhi as the prime ministerial candidate of the Congress. This time, that promise being absent, we'll have to wait and see how the voting pattern would turn out this time around for Rahul Gandhi in Vyanar. Also, there are speculations whether Rahul Gandhi would be contesting from either Amiti or Uttar Pradesh. The Congress is still undecided on that front. And considering that Rahul Gandhi did lose uh, the seat of Amiti last time around, there are a lot of speculations doing the rounds with respect to Rahul Gandhi's uh, candidature from uh, Amiti. But as far as Vyanar is concerned, for Rahul Gandhi at least, despite this being an LDF bastion, it turned out to be lucky for him in 2019 and he's hoping that the second term around for Rahul Gandhi would also turn out as lucky. Back to you.